Welcome to Notion Setups, this whole channel is about Notion. If you're interested in Notion, subscribe. There are two new updates in Notion and I'm gonna go through them very quickly, as quick as I can. The first one is with databases. Let's just create a new database and let's call it example. One really cool new feature, and this is probably more important for uh, large companies or even if you're working in teams of two or three people, even then it could be quite useful. Let's say this tags here, you want to give some more information about it. So we have blah as an option and we have blah blah as an option. This might be quite confusing for someone who's just joined your page and they don't know anything about this database and they're confused. Wait, what, what is blah and what is blah blah? And obviously, what is blah blah blah? Now this is quite confusing. So, what we can do is actually leave them a little note. So before, what we were probably doing is leaving notes like this. Blah notes. Blah blah means actually to blah or not to blah. Which is not useful. We want that information up here. So what we can do now is click on tags, for example. And yes, you can still change this. Change. So we can still change the name here, but we can also add a note to it. Click on edit property. Then up here you can see this little eye icon. We'll click on that. Now here we can add our description. So let's say blah 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 blah. And let's click away. So now when you hover over it, we can see that information blah 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 blah. Now this is really useful for large teams that want to communicate and work together where everyone can get the information they need just by hovering over the different properties. So this works for name as well and works for all properties. We just click here, click on that. This is the name. Click away and now you can see here, name, this is the name. Now the other update, if we just go to search up here, is actually an update in the search functionality. Now as you can see, it looks like normal, but if we make our way over to here, we can see show filters. So if we click on that, there are a few different versions and they're actually a lot more intuitive than they look. First we have sort. So here we can sort by last edited and created by newest and oldest first, just like it sounds. Now a really cool search function is by title only. So a lot of the time when you're searching, let's say I'm searching for resume in here, I'm seeing everything in my Notion account that's used the word resume. But if I click on title only, now I'm only seeing stuff where resume is the title. By the way, if you want me to make a video where I discuss how to make a resume in Notion, let me know in the comments because clearly it's a thing I have been thinking about. Now there's another cool feature called created by, and just like it sounds, you can search for stuff created by a specific person. Again, this is probably not useful if it's just one or two people, but it's really, really useful if you're in large teams. If you haven't implemented this in your workplace, please use the affiliate link in the description because I wouldn't mind the affiliate commission on a large company. Then we have this in search. Now this is also really practical. So let's just do the resume example again. In here, you can actually search for when I've used the word resume in a specific page and all of the pages in that page. So I'll just click on resume and come to think of it, I actually don't have any text in here, but now I can search for stuff in this page. So it's kind of like using command F or control F. However, you can also see stuff inside of pages, inside of pages, if that makes sense. I'll show you an example. So if I do forward slash and let's call this page example, and then in this page, let's have a page called Laura me Ipsum, where I say cowboys. To test this out, let's go back. Now I want to find the note cowboys and then I'll write cowboys here as well. So I want to search for the term cowboys. Now the issue is I've written it multiple times across my notion. Well, in this example twice. So I'll go to the search function. So I'll search for cowboys. So as you can see, it comes up with both. This is not what I want. I want to be able to search just inside of a specific page. So now if I say search inside of only lorem ipsum, it won't be coming up with the other one here. So I'm searching for pages inside of pages. It's a very useful, it's kind of like command F, control F, but the more advanced version. And then lastly, we have the search by date. And just like it sounds, you can search by today, last seven days, last 30 days, and you can even search in a specific date range, which is absolutely incredible. So I can select, let's say between the 5th and the 7th of December, and then I can see everything that I've been working on in that time period. And again, search by keywords. If you wanna get more productive with Notion, I recommend taking my free course. It is 100% free. It's an email based course and you get six emails just delivering a bunch of free value. And there is a bit of an ad at the end for my Notion headquarters template, but the rest of it is just free value and it can help you skyrocket your productivity. I recommend checking it out. Thank you for watching. See you next video.